You know what I mean? Like I'm a, I'm a six foot nine black guy who failed at sports. Which white people, that's a disgrace in the black community. Especially in my family though, because in my family, like people really made it in my family. Like my cousin Willie was six foot four and won the World Series for the LA Dodgers back in the day. Right? My father Curtis Rowe is six foot seven. Won three national championships at UCLA. Then in 1971, got drafted by the Detroit Pistons, and he became an NBA All-Star. I'm Cam Rowe. I'm six foot nine. My last job was at Coney Island, y'all. <laughs> Coney, man. So my family, they can't stand me, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is a true story. This is a true story. When I was still actively pursuing sports, my family prank called me on NFL draft night. <laughs> Say, oh, they some assholes, man. <laughs> True story, I can't, I can't make this up. I got a call, they were like, this is the Detroit Lions, we want to draft you. I said, for real? She said, hell no, nah. this is your mama. <laughs> I'm out here, check out this trash, nobody drafting you. <laughs> she, my mom, man. she loved me, but she can't stand me, right? I was like her ticket out. Like she was just staring at me the other day I was over her house. She just staring at me. I said, what's wrong, mom? She said, so I just fucked your daddy for nothing, huh? <laughs> That's what I done. I said, damn, mama, it's my birthday. I can't have like regular people problems, they just gotta throw my height into it. Like don't let my cell phone get cut off because I ain't paying my bill. They're like, look at you. Six foot nine with your cell phone turned off. I just seen LeBron James in a Verizon commercial. Can't even pay your Verizon bill. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> she bad, man. Oh my god, go, man. Uh, I grew up in uh, Southfield, way back when white people used to live there. <laughs> Fuck y'all go, man. <laughs> For real, man, white people used to live in Southfield. Like, we used to get all the Jewish holidays off when I was a kid. I remember my dad tried to wake me up for school one day, like, come on, son, get up, you got school. I said, oh no, my brother. <laughs> Today is Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Don't wake me up during Yom Kippur either, my friend. <laughs> Dad's cool, man. He's a cool guy and all that. He like, he's like, my dad is like, I guess because he was this athlete, he's like a big kid, you know what I mean? And sometimes he's more like, like a friend than a father. Sometimes he takes that too far. Like, like we was watching uh, TV the other day, we was watching Beyonce. He said, Beyonce is fine, son. I said, yeah. He said, man, you know who had a body like that back in the day? Talking about who I used to just beat down all the time. I said, who, Pam Greer? Diana Ross? He said, no, your mama. <laughs> That's why she's your mama, son. What do you want me to do with that information, Dad? I can't even look at Beyonce the same no more, man. Every time I see her doing them booty dances, I'm just like, no, mama. <laughs> My dad, he's still <laughs> He's still, like, he's old now, right? So he still thinks, but he still is full of himself. He still thinks that people recognize him, right? And nobody knows who the fuck he is. Like, like he can come in this room right now, like, hey, man, how you doing? Cut the troll, man. How you doing? Cut the troll. I'm like, Dad, what are you doing? He said, son, I got fans. I said, Dad, you're almost 75 years old. Your fans are dead. They just made that transition, sir. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that joke before he take me out the wheel. <laughs> but I have been working out, man. Been working out. Look at him. He's like, stop lying. Like, no, nah, I've been working out. Y'all get it for me. I lost 25 pounds last month. I gained it back this month, though. Last month was my month, man. And I had to do something about working out because, man, I had to start making critical decisions. Like, I dropped something the other day, I was like, oh, man, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really need this? Get <laughs> up there, driver's license. <laughs> I'm the Secretary of State tomorrow, man. <laughs> I gotta do something about this.
Texas, man. <laughs> Long way down, man. Driving and shit, man. <laughs> Now, I have always been this big, man. Like, like just a few years ago, I used to weigh 225. Now I weigh too fucking much. <laughs> I start working out, man. And you know, because people treat you differently when you gain weight. Like when I was thin, everybody used to say I look like Kanye West. Not like that's a compliment and no shit like that. But now, now they say I look like that, that big ass black dude from that movie Blind Side. <laughs> I got white people trying to adopt me now. That's my brother right there. That's why I knew my dick was bigger than his. But because I've only been this big for a few years, I'm still a skinny person in my head, right? But I'm constantly reminded that I'm not. Like I was at the gym yesterday, this big 600 pound dude comes up to me, he's like, hey man, people like me and you need to stick together. <laughs> Like who, sir? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 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 don't put me in the fat category just yet. I just got here. 